The DEC has the results of a soil test from around a former landfill in Wheatfield. People living near the landfill say contaminants traveled off site and made them sick. News Force Kellen Gray joins us live in the newsroom with the results. Kellen? Melina, Governor Cuomo told the DEC to do surface soil testing this spring after outcry from people living near the landfill. Well, the DEC says today those tests show there was no off site contamination, but the legal team representing residents says more tests are needed. After testing 22 homes and one commercial property near the former Niagara Sanitation Landfill, the DEC has determined contaminated groundwater did not spread off-site. It validates the testing that's been going on since 1981. Wheatfield Town Supervisor Bob Cliff says it's welcome news. There is currently a lawsuit pending against the town, filed by dozens of people who live near the landfill and say contaminants traveled from it and made them sick. The landfill on Nash Road holds toxic waste. Love Canal waste was removed a few years ago. There's bound to be more work done, but this is nice validation that after 49 years, still to this day, material is not going off the ground. But the legal team representing the homeowners says the DEC only tested surface soil, and that's not how homes are being contaminated. It's not in the runoff on the surface. It's likely coming from groundwater. Okay, you have water that's underground, and it's being sucked into the sump pumps, and that's transporting it into the homes. His legal team did their own testing of the homes and say they found cancer-causing chemicals. The DEC says it took samples two inches into the ground as it tested surface soil. Then those samples were analyzed by a lab for metals, PCBs, pesticides, and more. Then the data was validated by a third party, which the DEC says found levels were within acceptable limits. The information was sent to homeowners last week. Now the DEC plans to test ground groundwater and dig a trench around the perimeter to verify no waste was stored outside of the landfill. If they do the right types of tests and they test the right places, I think they're going to find the same things we found. The DEC says once all of the tests are finished, they will put together a report for the public and the department plans to hold an information session to answer any questions about that report. We'll let you know when that happens. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kellen Gray, News 4.